Hello everybody, I'm here with a very, very, very special guest who is called Sultan from Sultan Pasha Atars. And I'm really, really excited about this interview because your brand is so special. Thank First you. of all, you can say hi, sorry. <laughs> I'm sure. Hello. <laughs> no, you're really cool. And he has the best accent ever. It's like so awesome. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is I want you to talk about your brand. Sure. Tell us about your concept sure. and about your special compositions. No problem. Um, I try to basically uh, mainly compose using um, high quality uh, um, and rare absolutes yes. and essential oils. Um, so most of my compositions have very high amounts of naturals mm -hmm. um, that have been fine-tuned uh, with um, small amounts of synthetics, not too much. Um, Yes, they are important. Yes. Um, you have to take that into into consideration. Um, so uh, I try to create uh, natural compositions, uh, but a small amounts of uh, a small but necessary amounts of synthetics, um, so that they're fine tuned to my requirements. Um, now I. With me, because I specialize in oils, and because most of these ingredients are very rare and very expensive, I make them in very small batches. Exactly. I wanted to point that out that mm. your preferences, your oils, your compositions, they are in very specific, um, how to say that, form that uh, yes. they need a very small special amount. Small application. Amount. Yeah? Correct. I mean, um, in terms of traditional perfumery, most people are, are used to uh, the puff, alcoholic parfum exactly. or alcoholic or toilette yes. or, uh, or other parfum. Um, in my case, what I specialize in is um, co uh, CPO or concentrated perfume oils, mm -hmm. where, uh, which is normally also called atars. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, atars normally is meant to be a co distillation of. Uh, sandalwood with other materials, let's say uh, flowers such as jasmine or rose, um, and, uh, even tuberose, so it, it, it varies. But however, the actual word uh, that is used in the Middle East mm -hmm. to describe um, oil compositions, yeah, which is a mixture of, let's say, rare absolute or essential mm -hmm. oils with uh, uh, sandalwood or mm -hmm. agarwood, normally call it mukhalat. Oh wow, never heard it. Yeah. So now the problem is Mukhalat is very difficult for people to say. Yeah. You know, it's very it difficult is. for uh, for people around the world to say it. And even sometimes to remember. So the reason why I'm, I've been doing uh, Atars is because of the uh, mm -hmm. fact that I can't send uh, alcoholic compositions abroad from the UK. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of the oils itself that I make, mm -hmm. they're designed to be used in very, very small amounts. Yes. Um, because they're so concentrated, exactly, aren't they? Exactly. Yeah. So, that, let a three mil vial should suffice for, let's say, thirty ml to fifty ml of alcoholic parfum. So crazy! It's so like different, right? Exactly. Awesome. So, so uh, with natural oils itself, uh, it can be some of the oils. Yes, uh, all the oils. Mm -hmm. We apply a tiny amount, mm -hmm. but some of them, if the customer wishes, they could add alcohol to that. Oh, I get that. Yeah, yeah. to make it into, let's say, a parfum exactly. or, or the parfum. You work with very rare ingredients. Correct. You I work to. with a lot of different animal Where? ingredients. I don't know. Yes. Notes. Yes. How to call them professionally? Yes. yes. <laughs> and with uh, incense, different type of incense. Yes. Right. Yes. And your fragrance is also different, like so different. As Thank I tried you. them, I was like, why? I don't know, I smelled anything like that. So it's really, really cool. I mean, when I try to compose, um, I don't, I mean, I was speaking to somebody else mm -hmm. a few days ago. Um, they asked me, what's the concept of my creations? Mm -hmm. I don't, with me, there is not a concept. Mm -hmm. For me, it is about comfort. Oh, cool. Because me, myself, I suffer from uh, depression, anxiety, and bipolar, mm -hmm. uh, which is you know, terrible mm -hmm. psychological yes. uh, conditions. And I tend to compose, when I tend to compose is when my mood is mm -hmm. down. So whenever I compose, whenever I try to compose is to comfort myself. Yes. So when I'm composing, um, it's 
basically mainly just to just to comfort myself and then from there I just build on it and, and then you have these awesome creations that people are going uh, crazy about you have a lot of admirers don't you uh, I've been blessed yes uh, I, th I think you absolutely deserve them because your stuff is so unusual it's so so special Thank and you. I think it is even not challenging do you know what I mean sometimes perfumes can be challenging yeah, yeah. yours are very pleasant even your floral mm -hmm. oils or ingredients mm -hmm. they are so specific do you purchase some special oils from somewhere? what I tend to do like, what I tend to do is um, on a yearly basis mm -hmm. I tend to go to um, ingredients exhibitions just like you have exhibitions cool. here for uh, for uh, you know extensive yes. uh, fragrance exhibition, you also have ingredients exhibitions. That sounds so good. <laughs> and for me, wow. it is uh, it's, uh, it's it's amazing because I love those exhibitions. Yes, um, I can imagine because you can't you know they so, can't believe what you can find there, and you know everybody has is bringing out new materials. Exactly, you that's know? why you are so. Oh, Oh, I understand. <laughs> so you can see, guys, how much effort is put into each single position. Um, I mean, from it, it involves a lot of research. It involves yes. a lot of research, and um, I always am learning. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense, uh, yeah, because course. regards to ingredients, regards to especially regards to perfumery, there's infinite amount of combinations, mm -hmm. and the materials will always be different, especially with naturals. You know, so just because you have, just because you have one uh, cultivar of Bulgarian rose mm -hmm. from one year, it's not going to be the same the next year. Exactly. You know. Exactly. Uh, same thing with jasmines. Um, so how each, do you deal with that? How do you see it? Is it a good thing or a it's bad thing? It's a beautiful thing. thing. Yes. It's a beautiful thing. I think you so embrace too. it. You must embrace it. Yes. You know, uh, you have to embrace it because it is like, for example. Uh, uh, let's say a sculpture, uh, you mm -hmm. know, uh, somebody who makes a sculpture mm -hmm. from a solid block of marble. Each block of marble oh, is going to yeah, be different. different. You embrace the imperfections of the actual block of marble yes. and see the perfection in it and work with it. Don't You don't work against this it. This is so cool. You smell so good. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, you're <laughs> Thank moving you. and you smell so <laughs> Thank <awesome>. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're so right. I love that. I love that um, you work with naturals. You have a lot of naturals. I, I do. I mean, I, t I will. I mean, at the well, end of the day. Not just naturals. Not just still. naturals. I mean, I can. I mean, I also can work with um, synthetics as well, mm -hmm. purely synthetics. Mm -hmm. But I like working more with naturals because naturals gives me comfort. Yes, and they are so more authentic. Yeah? Um, I would say. Uh, yeah. They're more. They have more dynamic. Yes, that's always what I am saying when I am talking about mm -hmm. naturals. They mm -hmm. are so like bright and vibrant. Vib vibrant. It's another of my you know, favorite words. There you go. <laughs> because if, you know, you could smell. Let's say, for example, if you had a, a card, two cards. One card had a drop of synthetic rose oil. One, another one, mm -hmm. you had a pure rose otto from Bulgaria mm -hmm. or Persia or t t mm -hmm. This one here will be thinking, oh yeah, it smells good, it smells mm -hmm. nice. But you smell the rose otto. And it's like the, the fragrance. Thank yes. you. It touches your soul. Yes, it's all complex. There are so many different facets. Exactly. I, I it, touches, it touches your soul and um, and this is what I look forward to. Exactly. And at the end of the day, this, I mean, I never knew, the thing about me is I never knew that I would be eventually become a perfumer. Mm -hmm. um, however, you know, I started very, very small. And people, of course, responded saying, "Oh my God, make some more, make some more." So like, cool. I and I carried on making more, mm -hmm. but I realised that with regards to with regards to naturals, especially uh, with unique, very mm -hmm. unique naturals, if it, I find that I don't don't hope to sound uh, how should I say uh, egotistical by mm -hmm. saying this, but. If there is a natural that touches me, I have a feeling it may touch somebody else as well. Yes, exactly. You know? If you have the feeling, like if you are kind of in love, then... It, exactly. exactly. There must be somebody else out there. Yes, it may be unusual. Yes. You know? But there must be somebody else out there as well, just like me, who will be in love with that material. For me, seeking out uh, unusual materials uh, on a yearly basis is one of my biggest hobbies.
because it shows new possibilities. Yes, and you know what? You send me all your um, some like small um, the vials. vials. Yeah, yeah. And I will use them all. I'll try to do my <laughs> best because there are so many and they're all so awesome. Thank you. So now you guys know the concept and uh, why are they like small amount and how you need to apply them and uh, what is inside and. Uh, all about it and stay tuned for my reviews thank you so much it was such a pleasure to have you on my channel with pleasure i'm really really honored oh please honor is all mine pleasure is all mine as well thank you bye guys take care god bless